the song title in the key. So let's start off with the A for it. I'm going to do that in the key of A flat. I do have a little loop here that I'm going to play with. This is just for fun. I have not practiced these. to see more videos of me playing the piano. If you are on Facebook, you can actually see the MIDI keys, which is cool. Okay, uh, let's see. I answered what kind of keyboard is this? Ryan said, this is a newer song. Too good to not believe in C. <laughs> 72 BPM. Thank you, sir. Let me see what I can do. 
Uh, 72 BPM. Do I have a loop? Uh, let's see. Let's see if I have a loop that's 72 BPM. <clears throat> I'm sure I do. 72. So we keep all of our um, drum loops in a shared drive folder, which is a website called Box. You could also use Dropbox. I just find it's convenient for everybody to access those. So that's what I'm using right now. Let me look up the lyrics for that song. I have my iPads mixed. I have this small iPad for my lyrics and I can't read them. <laughs> okay, too good to not believe. Have you guys done this song in church yet? Okay, in the key of C. Do you ever do finger exercises? Um, Tana said, I do not, and I probably should. You're challenging me. I probably need to do that. So, here we go. So this song is really, um, lyrically, it's really has good, some good lyrics to it. So what I'm going to do is when I start playing this is I'm going to kind of keep it low and light so that the lyrics kind of can kind of shine through at the beginning. So I've lived stories that have proved your faithfulness.
the question about finger exercises, I do not do them, but if there are runs that you're playing um, or that go in a song, those can work as finger exercises. So for example, let's see, that was a good song. Um, for example, the song Promises by Mark Crowder has a cool little run in it. I'm going to play that one in a second. Um, do you memorize your songs instead of some having something in front of you to go by? Yes, I try to memorize them. Um, sometimes just having a chord chart in front of you when you are playing in service, especially if you're not just playing, if you're leading, um, if you're trying to, to band direct and all of that at the same time. Um, and even if you're trying to like sing parts, it can be a lot for your brain. So having that in front of you kind of helps take the pressure off. A lot of times I don't even um, look at the chord charts when I'm playing, but just have them there just kind of to remind my mind. Um, but you definitely want to be able to play in service in a way where you're not relying on your chord chart because what happens is if you're so tied to this that you can't look up, then you're missing the whole flow of the service, right? Because what I want to do when I'm playing, I want to be able to play and look at you like I would look at the service leader or the worship leader, right? So if they say, oh, can we sing Bless That Wonderful Name? Yes, absolutely we can. The key of F, let's go. Got the loop. The loop's going to drag, so... flow like that you have to really be comfortable with your instrument so that's why I really encourage you guys to practice um, it's more than just getting songs right it's really becoming so familiar with this that you're able to flow in a service because I think that's the goal for everybody um, let's see you just glide across so quickly I'm patiently waiting for fall so I can get in your class yes Aw, Sylvia, you're sweet. Um, okay, so if you guys have questions or song suggestions, drop them in the comments. I want to answer them. Let's see. Um, we're looking to get a Nord 5 for our small church. Our keyboard just died. Are we sad or are we, are we, should I play a shout beat? <laughs> Your keyboard just died. I really want a good full piano sound with a lot of bells and whistles. You think that would be a good one for us. I, um, I really like the Nord because I feel like what you see is what you get. It seems like a lot of buttons on the top, but like literally it says master level, which is your volume. It says, uh, like keyboard split. What does that mean? I mean, it splits the keyboard. So to me, like, remember back when Korgs were really popular, the Korg keyboard and like you, you have to like go in to find the settings and you have to hit like the program button to go in. And I, to me, all that's confusing. I like Nord because everything that you need is actually a button where you can see it instead of like hidden in some sort of bank. Okay, Hannah said we are sad. Okay, let's play sad song then. We're not happy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think the Nord has a great sound. A Nord isn't going to make you play better, but it will definitely add a different sound. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a great keyboard if you can afford it. Okay, I want to play Promises by Mark Crowder for you guys. And 
gonna have to pull it up real quick. When I used to try to sing and play, now back in the day, when you would sing and play like, you know, bless that wonderful name, it was like the same eight words over and over, right? Um, our songs were a lot more simpler. I think it was easier to play and sing, but it feels like now, and you guys can chime in on this, but it feels like now if you're trying to sing and play a song like Promises or I Got a Song or anything like that, I make mistakes. I sing the wrong words. I play the wrong chords. I butcher the song. <laughs> um, something's going to suffer if I'm trying to sing and play that. Uh, Jody says, I have a 13-year-old and a 9-year-old that really want to play piano. Where do I start? Um, if they don't know anything, then I would find a... Um, your 13-year-old could probably start learning church music. Your 9-year-old depends. Um, but you could either find a local teacher just to teach them the basics, or if you want, Jody, I can send you our free jump start lessons, and you could start them there and just see how they do. Okay, promises. This is in the key of C. So... the keyboard or organ on Mark Crowder's album and he was saying it was the most difficult album he's ever played on 
Um, I love Mark Crowder stuff. I feel like it's very applicable for church. Where do you get your loops? I get my drum loops from loops by cdubmobile.com. It's a website. And if you just click all loops, it will list all the drum loops they have. And basically when you're looking for a drum loop, you're looking for BPM. Don't worry about the title because it's going to give you a song title. Um, don't worry about the title. Look for the BPM. So thank you guys for joining today. This is a lot of fun. Yes, Jody, I will get you that link as soon as I end this. And I hope you guys have a great day. If nobody's told you today, I believe in you. That's why I keep showing up. I'm an introvert. I don't like to be in front of the camera. Hey, McMinnville. Um, but I do it because my passion is to really see you guys push yourself out of your comfort zone. I want to see you grow in your playing and in the gifting and the calling that God gave you. So bye everybody.